SAP project system. Projects range from smaller cost and investment projects to larger scale projects in plant engineering, construction and mechanical engineering. Due to pressure of implementing projects successfully within increasingly shorter periods and under continuously raising costs, project management methods and tools are becoming more important. Project management tools should map the entire life cycle of a project completely and uniformly. A lack of integration options frequently results in project data such as cost information or time data having to be entered several times. To avoid these problems, companies that are already use an SR SAP ERP system are now increasingly using SAP project system to manage their projects and therefore benefit from the close integration of SAP project system with accounting, material management, sales, production, human resources and plant maintenance so on. The range of SAP project system functions can be used across different project types and industries. We will learn about the individual phases of managing a project using SAP project system. Structure and master data, the mapping the projects in the SAP system using suitable structures. Planning functions, planning the logistical and relevant accounting aspects of projects. Budget, project execution process, the execution phase of projects following approval and resulting quantity and value flows, period and closing, periodic procedures available for the planned and actual data of projects, reporting, the reporting functions for the analysis of all project related data in every phase of project management process. So these phases involves the entire life cycle of project management. So we can see over here the entire life cycle of a project and the characteristics. The complexity and uniqueness, cross-functional departmental, hierarchy of project parts, planning and controlling integrated under umbrella of project management of SAP PS. The further elementary parts of SAP PS like dates at which we are using the basic dates and scheduling those dates and confirming the actual dates, budgets, original budget and whatever updates are being taken place and budget approvals and all the time the availability control and the commitment through the purchase requisitions, purchase orders and payment, planning of payments, actual data updates, costs and revenues, as and when re required reportings, periodic processing. So everything is available as an integration in the project management system. Now we will talk about in detail about each and every phases of project system. Starting the first phase structures and master data. A clearly and precisely structured project is the basis for planning, monitoring and controlling the projects. As a rule, a project is structured according to two points of view, structure and process. Hierarchical structures are used to represent the structure of projects. They enable the following. Top-down estimates, for example, to establish persons responsible, the assignment of budgets. Bottom-up estimates, for example, to evaluate aggregated data about costs, revenues, 
scheduling and progress as a rule network techniques are used for planning and controlling the process flow of projects sbps is a project management tool which provides with support in all phases of the project the high degree of integration between sbps and other function other functions such as logistics accounting and human resources ensures that the required business process can run quickly and efficiently in sbps and also provides structures that can used to model and organize projects flexibly we can plan and monitor dates costs revenues budgets resources materials and so on in the structures using the relevant tools and reports depending on the project type and the focus of project monitoring project can structured in sbps using work breakdown structures and or activities in one or more networks which can be linked using relationships if required so the structures and masters involves of work breakdown structures and network structures if you see the entire project structure and master data involves headed by project definition and the wbs element structure this is work breakdown structure and the network header followed by network activities under this project definition and the activities are with relationships so the usage option of work breakdown structure and networks to structure projects we can see under one project and the functions of this work breakdown structures for hierarchical structure dates cost revenues payments budget account assignment documents assignment of orders monitoring and the functions of network process oriented structure scheduling costing invoice plans material resources confirmations account assignment of documents monitoring now we can see in detail information of work break down structure a work break down structure is a model of the project that shows the project deliverables in hierarchical form the work break down structure thereby represents the structural organization of the project and provides a phase function or product oriented description of the project it outlines the project in manageable sections like we discussed in a maintenance the individual elements of the work breakdown structure are called wbs elements this can break down the work wbs elements further depending upon the project phase the graphic structures in the project system lists important functions of work breakdown structures because every psp element represents a separate controlling object in the sap system work breakdown structures can be used in a particular for hierarchical controlling of project costs budgets revenues and if necessary payments by assigning orders to a wbs element can analyze order cost for the wbs element and check them against the wbs element budget with the help of progress analysis can view the progress values that reflect the status of the project relative to the individual wbs elements or aggregate them according to the project hierarchy a network describes the time sequence and dependencies of events and activities in a project and thereby represents the course of the project a network consists of fundamental elements activities and relationships 
networks and their activities form the basis of planning analyzing and controlling dates costs and personal capacity materials resources and services that are required for carrying out a project and it tasks when activities are assigned to ws elements the dates and costs defined in the individual activities are totaled up at the ws element and can be evaluated this nothing but a bottom up approach activity costs are already assigned or checked against the budgets of the ws elements here availability control comes into the picture this criteria according to which a project project is structured using a work breakdown structure and our networks can vary and depend on the type and complexity of a project now when we assign the activities to the ws elements the assignment functions will be like exchanging of dates aggregation of costs availability control passing on a user status generating settlement rules so there are different ways to create project structures as well as being able to create work breakdown structures and or networks manually can also use existing project structures as templates if it is a similar nature of project or if a similar category of the project we can use them as templates to create new project structure can create a project by copying other operative projects standard structures are also simulation versions so these are all different different types of ways to create project structures assembly processing is another indirect method of generating a network or if necessary a wbs from a sales order is a example now we can see here the creation of the wbs structure in different ways like from templates from other operative structures so this is about the wbs structure now in the coming lessons we will learn about the prerequisites to create the wbs structure and wbs elements 